<laughs> Welcome back. Movie guy Will Meyer is here with us. We were talking about all of the movies you might want to see. And, Will, you just made a big statement mm -hmm. about the Mission Impossible franchise. Yeah. You said... I'll this, just let you say it again. This may be the best action franchise out there right now. I, I know that I was at least looking forward to this movie more than any other this summer, so, you know, a high bar. So, okay. uh, yeah, this is the sixth installment in the franchise. Um, it stars, of course, Tom Cruise and the rest of the gang from the past few films, plus Henry Cavill this time. Um, Ethan Hunt and his crew, they have to track down some stolen plutonium in this movie while being watched closely by a CIA agent because they recently botched another job. Now, this movie is directed by Macquarie, who brought us the last film, Rogue Nation, which was excellent in my opinion. Yeah. But you don't have to have seen that movie to enjoy this one, and that's one of the great things about this old-fashioned sincere action franchise is that you know while these other you know entities are interested in world building like Marvel here they just want to make a better movie than they have before and while I don't know if it's the best overall even though a lot of people think so I think it does have the best action scenes I mean uh, this movie is just thrilling from start to finish there's so many memorable sequences in this movie from the bathroom brawl to uh, a halo jump to a helicopter chase slash shootout mm -hmm. um, I mean these scenes are just breathtaking and they work so well for so many reasons but one is because they work so hard to get them right. Uh, that halo jump, um, Tom Cruise did it over a hundred times in order to get it right. Um, the bathroom brawl, which Daniel is just hand-to-hand -hand combat, they took over four weeks to shoot that scene, so they really just took their time to get it right here. You've probably heard Tom Cruise broke his ankle while filming this movie. He okay. jumped from one rooftop to another. That's because he doesn't use a double. He, he does, does his own stunts. Does his own stunts. Yeah. And so when you see him flying a helicopter, that's actually him. When you see him dangling from a rope that's attached to a helicopter 2,000 feet above the ground, that's Tom Cruise doing it. And so it makes it that much more real and that much more exciting. Um, this movie also uh, is fun because uh, there are a lot of twists in this film that, that really uh, are exciting. Uh, unfortunately, I wish the writer had taken more time to, uh, to go over the dialogue because some of it's pretty cringeworthy and even good actors kind of look bad in this movie and then we have Henry Cavill who is just incapable of sounding like a human being when he talks on screen <laughs> it's rough but overall there's so much good here I mean yeah. I, I think the last 15 minutes are as thrilling as anything I've ever seen on screen so okay. um, you know not a perfect movie but there's just see this movie see it twice I say three and a half out of four stars but I, I loved it so okay so yeah. you're you're a fan of that one. huge fan Next up, I mean, this is kind of a kid's movie, right? Teen yeah. Titans go to the movies? Yeah, this is based on a Cartoon Network show. I didn't know that last week. I'd never oh. heard of this. Hmm. But uh, the good news is you don't have to have seen that show to enjoy this movie. Um, this is a film where the Teen Titans, they're these superheroes, and they're upset because all the other superheroes are getting movies made about them, and they're not. So they decide to go to Hollywood to try and convince a director to make a movie about them. Um, you know, this is a really clever, uh, you know, parody of our superhero-saturated culture. Um, it's got some really kind of bold, funny jokes uh, targeted at Marvel. They even make fun of themselves. Uh, they make fun of DC, they make fun of Green Lantern and the recent Batman v Superman movie. Also some great pop culture references in here, Back to the Future, The Lion King. Some really clever, funny songs too. Uh, at one point, Daniel in the movie, they sing an upbeat, inspirational song about life. That song is called An Upbeat, Inspirational Song About Life. Nice. So yeah, um, It's a film, though, that is geared towards small kids at the end of the day. I think that uh, some of the potty humor I could have done without, and I really could not care less about these characters or this story for that matter, but it's still fun. I think whether you're young or you're old, you're going to enjoy this one. So pretty solid. Three out of four stars. Three out of four stars. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're in a good mood today. Am, yeah. Well, we're glad to have you in a good mood. The next is Three Identical Strangers, and, mm -hmm. and I don't know as much about this one. Yeah. This is, um, it's a documentary, yeah. yeah. It premiered at Sundance earlier this year, and it's amazing, Daniel. You should see this one. It's uh, about these three guys who were in their 20s, uh, and they're reunited by astonishing coincidence after learning that they were identical triplets, separated at birth and adopted by different families. They just happened to meet each other, and they found all this out. It's an incredible story, uh, and it was a media sensation back in 1980 when this story was first revealed. Uh, but then, once that kind of died down that's where this movie really begins uh, as they started to ask okay why were we separated and why were we never told about this they were never told that they were separated at birth and that's where this movie gets a lot darker but also a lot more interesting um, it's this fascinating examination of nature versus nurture and so it asks all these really interesting questions about destiny free will identity um, you know it's also has it also has the structure of a thriller too because it makes a point uh, I can't reveal too much but I'll just say that you know it, it convinces you of something shows you video evidence of it later it argues argues something different to that and it shows you the same video evidence and you see something completely different. It's really interesting. But it's also really moving too. Like I say, I don't want to spoil the secrets of this film, but you know, it's just a very powerful movie you're going to be affected by. It's a bit manipulative at the end of the day, but I'd really, really like this one. I'd strongly encourage people to see this one. Three and a half out of four stars for this as well. You liked every single one. I did. Wow. It's a good weekend. This is a good weekend. And we can learn more on your Facebook page. Yep. Facebook.com slash Will Meyer the movie guy. You saved all the bad reviews for Leslie next weekend. Yeah, that's right. All right, cool. <laughs> We're gonna send